Here's June seated at the secretary, bills and checks fanned out before her, her brow frankly furrowed at the dubious prospect of making bills and budget meet. dear. If the good Lord wanted me to fly, he would have given me wings. Are you hurt, dear? I don't know. I'm too numb to feel pain. As the kids get older, the odds get longer. We'll live to a ripe old age. Well, maybe I'm building immunity. Did Mr. Selkirk call? No, not yet, but a Mr. Winham did. Oh. That makes twice today. Uh, something about toothbrushes. Oh, he's been after me to become regional manager, Western District of the Winham Toothbrushes. Southwest regional manager, that is. Do! Mm, he offered me the job if I ever get tired of being a high school principal. Must say it's a very attractive offer. Live in a small town, peace, quiet, get away from it all. Oh, Father, you wouldn't. Why not? Become vice president in a year or two, maybe even president in five or six. But what'll Jackie and I do? Hmm? Grow up to be old maids? Well, hardly. I understand the folks of Tolosa Falls, Arizona. Tolosa Falls? Mm -hmm. Stop teasing, Stu. My goodness, children. Teasing? About something like this? Our whole lives are at stake. Mm hmm, but I'm thinking about it. Oh, Father. What about Mr. Selkirk? Oh, it's nice to have an iron or two in the fire. Keep the kettle hot, I always say. I do think you shouldn't dangle poor Mr. Wynnum any longer. We like it here, and we're going to stay. <laughs> Stop jiggling. I'll tell him the next time he calls. No, that's not right, Mother. You're mm -hmm. not moving the loops. Mm -hmm. Here, let me do it. Keep that lethal instrument away. You'll mangle someone. Sorry, Eddie. I'll help you, June. No, darling, that's a zero. You don't carry it. We did last month. No, you just added two too many and missed a decimal point, and we owed the bank a million dollars. You're still teasing. <laughs> it's just this miscellaneous. It gets bigger every month. Miscellaneous, huh? Daddy. Mm. Yes, darling. When was the Boston Tea Party? In 1773, 1774, 1775, or 1776? Now, Jack, you know it wouldn't be ethical for me to answer for you. Mm -hmm. Couldn't you just give me a teensy hint? Teensy? Well, the correct year is among those you mentioned, but don't ask me which one. Well, that must be Mr. Selkirk now. Yes. Well, I'll get it. Button mm -hmm. your coat, dear. Oh, oh, yes. Isn't this meeting with the Board of Education tonight pretty special? It certainly is. Hello, everybody. How do you do? Mr. Good evening, Selkirk. Mrs. Irwin. How do you do, Mr. Selkirk? Mm. You know the children, Jackie and Joy. Of course. Lovely children. No parents should be without them. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Irwin? Yes. yes, sir. This is going to be the biggest thing to hit town since daylight saving. Is that right, Irwin? It's, uh... You bet. Big layout. Big. And Irwin is the lucky man. Uh, well... Absolutely. Uh... Your record warrants it. Oh. My goodness, it sounds exciting and mysterious. Is it bingo? Uh, you'll know in good time. Just a few details iron out and we'll be ready for tomorrow. Mm. To quote Jackie, I'd like a teeny-weeny hint. Well, it's just... Uh, ah! I mustn't let the cat out of the bag. No, indeedy. Uh, well, come along, Irwin. <laughs> it's the McClellan test, Mother. You know? Oh, sure, everybody knows, but nobody's telling. Oh, really? How do these things get out? <laughs> Just think, Mother, we'll be famous. In Life magazine. Oh, pictures and everything. Isn't it exciting, Mr. Selkirk? Yes, it is. Uh, well, uh, come along, Owen. Uh, good night, all. Uh, oh, good night. All right, Mr. Selkirk. Good. Ready, Owen? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, thank you. Students, uh, just a few words as to the nature and intent of the McClellan test. Briefly, it is a mechanically scored test. The purpose, very simply, is to obtain a level throughout the country, a standard approach to primary education in the junior-senior group. I say that I would like to have had the opportunity to take such a test. The average for the test is 60. However, don't think of that. You just do the best you can, and I'm sure you'll do very well. Thank you. The paper's face down on your desk. 
are two question sheets. Two oh, no, no, Mr. Selkirk, I couldn't. After all, it's a test for 16-year-olds. What's the matter? I'm afraid you won't pass. Oh, no, it isn't it's a that. It's human interest story, Mr. Irwin. Uh-huh. Principal takes test with students. Oh, really? Well, liven up the series. I'm a little rusty, I'm afraid. Oh, it's a great angle. Well, no, no, I... Uh, Your picture right on the cover. Now, on, on the cover? You'll do it. Well, <laughs> students, I have a great idea. Your principal, my colleague, Mr. Irwin, is going to take the McClellan test along with you. And he is on his own. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Irwin. Oh. Thank you. Miss Pringle. All right. Hold up your pencil. Oh, All ready. Go. Usually he finishes first. The original quiz kid, huh? <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi. Oh, Miss Hamilton, is Daddy in? No, he's gone for the day, Joyce. Oh. Joyce, I think it's so, so democratic of your father to take the test, Joyce. It's so human. Well, Daddy's like that. Hey, how do you think you made out? No, oh, all tests are alike to me. Oh, there you are, Miss Pringle. Mr. Irwin's been waiting for you, but he had to leave. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Your arthritis come back? Oh, no, I never felt better. But, oh, it's just terrible. What is? I just don't want to be the one to tell him. Tell who? What? Mr. Irwin. His paper was scored with all the students. Yes, I know. The entire school knows. It was to be part of the magazine spread. That's just it. He flunked. He what? Just my reaction, exactly. I couldn't believe it either. His average is... is... 20. 20? Oh, no. Nancy, don't you dare. What do you mean? Not a word to anyone until Father has a chance to explain. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Don't worry. Oh, please, Nancy. I wouldn't want it to get out. Of course not. Well, I've got to go. See you tomorrow. If you're in school, I mean. Of course I'm... What? Oh. And so Daddy was the second lowest in the whole class. Butch Cassie was, was the lowest, but he has a scholarship to State University because he's a star football player. Well, that's it, Mother. Daddy got 20 points. I got 67. 67, is that good? Well, 67 isn't bad. That's seven points above average. But 20, that's calamitous. Does he know? Oh, it's the talk of the whole campus. He's only the principal. My goodness, the captain of a ship knows when his vessel's sinking. Oh, dear, I feel a crisis coming on. Jackie. I lost. What on earth? Nancy's little brother said Daddy couldn't even be principal of a kindergarten. He oh. said that Nancy said that she overheard. Oh, Mother. Oh, my baby. Look, children, I know how distressing this must seem, but no matter what people say on the outside, this is Daddy's home, and he's to be protected within it. That's what I tried to do, Mommy. The honor of our family was at stake. But not that way, Jackie. To suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Don't be so dramatic. Now then. Then I have to fib about my eye? <laughs> Not exactly. Let's just tell Daddy you had a misunderstanding and that the other fellow doesn't look so good either. 
He doesn't. <laughs> we'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. And now, back to the Irwins. Is that you, dear? Of course it's me. Do I look different? I mean, how do you feel, dear? Never better. Mmm, roast beef smells good. Now, just don't you worry. Um, ah, roast beef. I feel like some nice, juicy roast beef. Well, I'm glad your appetite isn't affected. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. You're my daddy. Well, you're my little girl, and I do care very much. Uh-oh. And black eyes are never in season. I've already spoken to her about it. Oh, well, something trivial, no doubt. Hello, Joyce. Hello, mm. Daddy. This isn't my birthday, is it? Oh, Father. Well, why so solemn? Oh, it's the McClellan test. Oh, don't joke about it, Daddy. Oh, everybody's talking about it. Everybody? Well, you know, it's had quite a bit of publicity, and these things do get out. You see, mm -hmm. Mother... That's enough talk. Dinner's ready. Huh? Everybody, Daddy? Well, not everybody yet, but you wait till it appears in the magazine, and then the whole world will know. And your daddy's old face will be on the front cover. Yes, sirree. Mmm, <laughs> the closer you get to it, the better it smells. <laughs> Can't you stop them from going to press after all? Oh, a little publicity never hurts. Oh, no. Oh, aren't you pleased? I know I'm no Clark Gable, but... You're no Einstein, either. Huh? Oh, oh. oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jackie. Thank you. What's the matter? The food's delicious. Your mother is an excellent cook. Thank you, darling. Children. What is this? Speak up. You look at me as if I had smallpox or something. Well, don't Everybody be knows sorry, about dear. your low score. I know there must you be some mistake. mistake. Whoa there. Whoa. Let's try it two at a time. Hmm? You talk, Mother. Yes. You brought the news home, Joyce. News? What news? Oh, Father, you don't have to be a Pagliacci with us. Hmm? Excuse me, please. But Pagliacci, I... I don't feel so good either. Excuse me, please. Well, how do you feel? Oh, I'm certain you'll come out of it all right. Excuse me, I'll go take care of them. Me? Come out of it all right? I... What the... I'm sure there must be some explanation, Joyce, for such a low score, only 20. And if we just sit down and discuss it. Oh, low score, 20, huh? So that's it. The McClellan test. Yes, Daddy. That's it. 20? Why, that's terrible. Now, Stu. My daughter? Why, it's shocking. I, I don't understand. Well, neither do I. It wasn't that hard. It certainly was not. I... I'm sure there's some logical explanation. Maybe the machine broke down. Oh, a likely story. The machine broke down. That's the trouble. Kids today take everything for granted. It... As a matter of fact, the machine did break down. Miss Pringle reported it to me. Just a moment. How do you know your mark if the machine broke down? Well, I was told by Miss Pringle. Oh. It was 67. 67. 67. Well, that isn't too bad. What's upsetting you? What's this 20 business? Well? She's embarrassed to tell you. She oh. overheard Miss Pringle tell Miss Hamilton that you scored only oh. 20 on the test. <laughs> 20? Me? Me? 20? Why? Why, I... I... Nancy Johnson overheard her, too. She promised not to tell anybody, but she did, and, and now everybody knows. Oh. That's why I got the black eye. Huh? And she's a little brush. Hush, Jackie. Me? 20. Why, oh, it's utterly ridiculous. Impossible. Principal Pelham led the class with 90. Oh, he did, did he? Please, dear, your blood pressure. I haven't any blood pressure. I, I never heard. Oh, it's fantastic. You don't think for one moment that... Miss Hamilton. Miss Pringle. I'll call Miss Pringle. We'll get to the bottom of this nonsense. 
Oh, yes, Miss Pringle. Goodbye. It's absurd. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh now, Dad, it could have been worse. <laughs> you could have gotten 19 or 18 or, or been lower than Butch Cassowitz. Oh, I was higher than Butch. Oh, well, that's a consolation. Oh, June. <laughs> I'm not worried, really. I know you can do better. But the point is, I didn't do better. I I got 20. 20. And all of that publicity. Gee, maybe we better leave town. Huh? Joyce. Oh. Well, I mean, it's getting awfully stuffy around here. Everybody's gossiping so. And... My picture on the front page. Your father's done nothing to be ashamed of. I don't want this family going off half crazy. We'll think this thing out as we've always thought out everything we've done, won't we, dear? Yes, yes, we'll think it out. We'll, uh, oh, thanks, Jackie. Thank you. I understand, Daddy. Yes. We all have our problems. <laughs> oh, how's your history? Uh, would you like me to help you? Uh, no, thank you, Daddy. Huh? I can manage. Huh? Oh, June. June, you know, I've been thinking. I mean, well, the more I think of it, it's not so much being the principal of a high school, and that Selkirk, he is such a windbag. Now, don't do anything rash. One black eye in a family is enough. No, no, but I think perhaps, well, the more I think about that Mr. Wyndham's toothbrush proposition, the better I like it. The more I think about it. Out west? Yes. Uh -huh. In Tulsi Falls? Uh-huh. Gee, I, I, I might as well go join a monastery or something. Now, hear your father out, Joyce. The wide open spaces and all of that fresh air. It's wonderful. Yes, Daddy? It's, uh, it's like pioneers carving out a civilization, blazing new trails and opening golden frontiers. With toothbrushes? Uh, huh? Oh. Well, I... Oh, no. I'm, I'm not home. You'll have to be home sometime. Huh? You're still an honest man. You can face them all. Well, I... Well, all right, I... It's Mr. Selkirk. Stuart. Let him in, Joyce. Good evening. Is the uh, bitter half in, Mrs. Irwin? <laughs> <laughs> Won't you come in? <laughs> My, but you have a charming place here. Uh, so restful. But where is Mr. Irwin? I have something important to discuss with him. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Oh, Daddy. The other one. Oh. Daddy, are you hurt badly? I'm beyond pain, beyond grief. I... Hello, Mr. Selkirk. I've heard the news, Irwin. I'll bet you have. Of course I have. And I'm very proud of you. Proud? Our school. Your school and class getting the highest marks of the special McClellan test. I don't understand. Why, I... it's very simple. Our class average was 74. Oh, uh, oh my goodness. What's the matter? You're pleased, of course. I'm delighted, naturally, but... Did that include all papers? I mean, was anything said about my paper? No, not particularly. It was run in with the others, you know. Oh, yeah. Say, I hope Miss Pringle didn't forget to run it in. We don't want to miss that story. Hey, maybe that's not a bad idea. Now that you speak of it, she didn't mention it to me, and it plumb slipped my mind. Or her too, I guess. No, it didn't. You see, my score was 20. 20? Yeah. You? Yes, sir. 20? Yes, sir. You're joshing. I wish I were, but Miss Pringle will ver verify it. I, I don't believe it. I'm sure there must be some mistake. Impossible. I know, but just the same. Uh, you mean you're not joshing? No, I'm not joshing. Twenty? Yes. Why, it would be absolutely absurd to call Miss Pringle and... and why? What's her number? Uh, Clover 3482. Uh, whoever heard of... Erwin, really? It's unconstitutional or something. I Hello. Miss Ringle, this is Mr. Selkirk. I would like to know Mr. Irwin's score on the McClellan test. He insists that he received only 20. And of course, I don't believe... A, a, what? What? No, no, don't exist. 
excite yourself, Miss Pringle. I just wanted to ascertain. Now calm yourself, Miss Pringle. Uh, Miss Pringle. Hello, Miss Pringle. I think she fainted. Twenty on a test for sixteen-year-olds? Why, that's that's sabotage! I, I know. I. We're going out west. Yeah, Daddy's going to blaze a new trail and carve out a civilization in Arizona. Do what? Where? Uh, uh, west. Uh, they got lots of fresh air out there because the spaces are wide open. Dad says he's a pioneer to open a golden frontier with toothbrushes. Aren't you, Daddy? Um, toothbrushes? Well, uh... Mr. Ham, somebody's making my daddy an original manager. And maybe in five or six years he'll be president. Won't you, Daddy? But, oh, he will, will he? Uh, uh, well, that's very interesting, little lady. Thank you very much. And maybe he'll give you a job if you flunk. Uh, Jackie, uh, uh, Mr. Selkirk, I... Uh, you see, um... Yes, I see quite a bit. Well, this certainly is a matter for the board. Oh, we've got to be getting over to the magazine. Jackie, I'm glad you're not twins. Coming, Irwin. Off to the court martial. Certainly fits nice, don't it? Stop the presses. Gentlemen, are we in time? We're yeah. certainly going to tile on this story. But you we? can't. Oh, yes, we can. That was the agreement. We're going to reprint your test and the score, Mr. Irwin. No, I... Mr. Irwin, your face is going to be a household word. That's what I'm afraid of. But you cannot. Gentlemen, it's a mistake. It'll embarrass the community. It... It'll make a laughing stock of the McClellan test. It'll set education back 50 years. Mr. Irwin, uh, I'll print it. I don't care. It was an honest mistake. Go ahead and print it. Uh, I'm tired of this old blowhard Selkirk running things anyway. Blowhard? Yes, you heard me. Print it. But what about the board? I don't care about the board. I resign. And I accept. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, gentlemen, I implore you. We'll sue for defamation, slander, libel. Now, whoa, just a minute. I don't know what you're raving about. Mr. Irwin's perfect score yes. will prove that... I don't care. Our reputation... What? Did you say perfect? Yes. Perfect? Yes, perfect. Oh. Oh, the original graphite marking showed only 20. But we knew the machine couldn't be wrong, and certainly Mr. Irwin couldn't do as bad a job as that. Oh. So we removed the test and corrected it manually. Well. It seems the last part of it was marked with a ballpoint pen. Oh, Naturally, it didn't show up. Yes, I remember now. Certainly, I, I broke my pencil and I used my pen instead. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about a job, Mr. Irwin. Huh? After this issue's out, you'll be besieged with offers. Offers? Oh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, if you'll excuse me now, I'll go home and tell my family thank you very much, gentlemen. But what about the board? He, he can't resign. Will they mention your grade in the magazine? They most certainly will. They will? I'll say they will. Mr. Irwin, your father has scored the perfect mark. Yes, sirree. There was a little mix-up, but it's 100 and no mistake. Oh, darling. Oh, <laughs> Daddy, 100. Uh, yes, sir. I knew you could pass the test for 16-year-olds. Oh, did? Daddy, you're wonderful. <laughs> but does that mean we're not going out west? Oh, well, I don't know yet. You see, uh, Mr. Selkirk and I had a few words, and I turned in my resignation. I just can't take him putting his nose into everything, and one thing led to another, and... I resign. I see. Well, maybe the board will reconsider, or oh. uh, or Mr. Wynnum, or... Yeah, 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 I Daddy, guess. Daddy, huh? it's for you. For me? Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Yes? Oh, uh, Mr. Selker? Yes, I... Oh, no, I'm not mad, but I just can't take... Hmm? The board? Why, uh, well, yes, of course, I, uh... Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry, too. Yes. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Selker. <laughs> well, don't just be him. Tell us. I have been asked to reconsider. Hey, he <laughs> Can't ever tell what this family will do stuck in this old town. <laughs> <laughs> I only wish my bills would untangle themselves as easily. Will you help me, dear? I most certainly will. Here, take that. And me too, Daddy. Huh? I'm having trouble with the War of 1812. 18... We'll fight it out together. Huh?